Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the best brawler for every single map inside of the Duo Showdown Challenge, which literally starts tomorrow. Um, all the best star powers and gadgets will be down below in the description. I'll also be giving you free-to-play brawlers as well, so if you don't have some of the brawlers, there will be other options for you guys as well. And also, make sure to join my Discord server if you want to find a Duo partner, because I have a special section for that in my server. And loads of people have been finding teammates, so that's really good to see. Also, if you want to play me, leave your code. So essentially like your, your tag, your game tag, which is there, leave it down below and I will send a friend, uh, like a friend request to someone on one of my accounts and I will hopefully be able to play with you and hopefully we can win the challenge. So that's cool. Make sure to leave your tag down below and I will try and carry someone. Also make sure you're subscribed because you don't want to miss future videos like these. And if you want to support me a little bit extra, make sure you're using code Tom in the shop. Really appreciate everyone who is using code Tom and let's get into it. Okay, so jumping into the first map then. So this map um, is very kind of open on the edge and then in the middle, it's kind of closed off. So on the edge, kind of long range brawls are going to be good. And then on the middle, the short range brawls and throws are going to be pretty good. But the best comp here I would recommend going is Byron Edgar. Byron is so good. Um, so basically you'll notice the B Colt and also Edgar got a little rework, but not really enough. So yeah, Colt and B got kind of nerfed. So they're not as good, but they're still pretty decent options. So these are all the bros that you should use on this map. But as I said, the best comp is Edgar and Byron. Um, and you're going to come up against a lot of Edgar. So maybe Jackie Byron could work as well, because Jackie does counter Edgar. Um, there is an option to go throws here. So you could go Sprout. Sprout would be the best thrower to use. But I don't really like this option that much, because if you think about it, everyone in the game has Edgar. Edgar literally hard counters throwers. So I just don't think it's a good reason. I don't think it's a good option to go through us because they're going to get counted very easily. And since everyone has Edgar, there's probably going to be a ton of Edgar. So Jackie could actually be another really good option just to counter Edgar. So like a Jackie, Byron could be really good. If you do not have Byron, Colt and B are both really good replacements for Byron. So like a Colt um, and then Edgar could also be really good, really good and could actually work on Skull Creek. So yeah, on this map, I definitely recommend going one of the brawlers um, in this little template here. Um, and also be careful when you're going mid because, you know, if you go mid on this map, you can get pinched by a lot of people. There is a lot of boxes, but if you do go into mid to get cubes on this map, make sure you can get out very easily. Make sure there's kind of a path for you guys to get out. But yeah, you should be able to win with this comp. The the Byron is basically just going to heal whatever teammate you have, whether it's, whether it's a Colt, a Jackie, or an Edgar. Just heal. Just keep healing your teammate. And your teammate should be able to do a lot of work with Edgar. Pop that gadget straight away as soon as you get in. Um, and yeah, just wait for a really good time to jump. Try and jump on someone with really low damage, like a Mr. P. You don't necessarily want to be jumping on like a tank or a spike or something like that with high damage. Uh, jump on someone with really low damage. That way you're going to be able to take them out pretty easily and hopefully pick up the win. So yeah, Edgar, really, really good on this map. Um, you can even hide in grass if you want as well because you have that jump as well. So yeah, but mainly you just want to use the tips that I was talking about yesterday. Okay, so jumping into map number two then, it's going to be Feast or Famine. So obviously there's a ton of cubes in mid. It's kind of a really short range meta in the middle there. So again, um, for me, Byron has to be played on every single map. Byron is just so, so good right now because all the other top rulers got nerfed. And yeah, Byron... Just so, so good. Um, if you have Byron, let's use him in every single comp. Here, um, I'm, I wasn't quite sure to go with, but I think a spike is a great option. Um, you, there's gonna be a lot more tanks in mid just because of that area. People think tanks is good. Tanks are okay, but you know, if you go spike or Byron, um, also that's gonna counter Edgar as well, because yeah, Edgar, as I said, can't really jump on a spike because spike has huge, huge damage. If you are going spike, go curveball. Um, and if you want all the rest of the star powers and gadgets, of course, they will be down in the description as well. Also, we've got here Edgar. Obviously, Edgar's so, so good. If you use Edgar Byron on like every single one of these maps, you're probably gonna do very well, but you know, as I said, Edgar um, can be countered quite easily, so you do have to be careful um, if you do go Edgar. Also, we got Colt, B, um, and Bo as other options here. Bo can be really good if you're using Bo. Obviously, make sure you're using that vision. Make sure you're using the totem. You can just sit there and get your supers. Colt, if you feel like you're if you feel like you're a good Colt and you can hit shots and you're confident that you can hit shots, Colt is still a very good brawler. The only thing that got nerfed was obviously the gadget. It was quite a big nerf, but obviously you can still break walls. And you know, Colt still does a ton of damage. Like literally, probably the most in the game if you hit every shot. So um, yeah, if you if you're a good Colt, then Colt Byron is going to work pretty well for you in every single <laughs> every single map. Colt Byron can definitely be lethal if you're a really good cult but as I said you do have to be careful because 
um, you know, if you're not a good Colt and you end up missing a lot of shots, then Colt may not be the best option for you. Again, B, B's nerf was very small just to the gadget. Again, um, a thousand damage back down to 800. So yeah, it's, B is still a very good option on a lot of these maps. B is still very, very strong. Of course, make sure you're using that honey coat. But that's gonna wrap up for this map. Let's get into the next one. Okay, so jumping into Rockwell Brawl then. So this again is a really similar meta to Skull Creek. You have um, a lot of walls in the middle. Around the outside, it's a little more open. But the best comp for this is gonna be Byron and edgar if you don't have a byron um a colt's gonna work very well um or you can go with like a jackie edgar this might be a little bit too aggressive but this could definitely work for sure as well i don't actually have this on the graphic here but spike could maybe work here but you have to think there's gonna be a ton of edgar so you know i'd be really careful about going throws on any of these maps really although i do have sprout sprout would normally be very good but i just feel like there's gonna be i feel like everyone's gonna be playing edgar to be honest because you know everyone has edgar so everyone is gonna be playing edgar so i would say you know surge is gonna be a good pick as well because uh, with Surge, you can actually counter Edgar. You can either gadget away from him when he jumps on you, or you can just use your super to kind of knock him back. So Surge is a really good pick. Um, but yeah, Byron is the number one brewer right now. So make sure you have him in every comp if you do have him. Um, but, you know, also you've got Jackie as well. Again, can counter Edgar really well. B as well um, could be a replacement for Byron if you don't have one. And, and if you're not confident with Colt, I would say, you know, B, Edgar, that's still a very, very strong comp. Mr. P as well, since there's a lot of walls, Mr. P is going to be okay. The only thing with Mr. P is, again, he struggles against Edgar. And I just feel like Edgar is going to be all over the, <laughs> all over this challenge. So, you know, I'd be very wary if you go with a Mr. P that you can get jumped on by an Edgar anytime because you don't really have much damage. So yeah, I'd say best comp here, definitely Byron and Edgar. Um, and also, you know, you can go you could go Jackie instead of the Edgar just to counter um, other people's Edgars. And you could also go Spike or say a Surge to with Byron obviously to counter um, other Edgars and I feel like that could work really well. Okay, so the final map then is gonna be Acid Lakes, 1000 Lakes, 2000 Lakes, whatever you wanna call it. Um, it has many, a lot of different names. But yeah, the best brawler for this map is gonna be Byron. It's a very, very open map. Um, especially when you get to kind of the mid area. But yeah, Byron B I would say is the best comp you wanna use here. But if you don't have, say if you don't have Byron, Edgar B is gonna work very well. Or if you don't have B, you can use Colt as a replacement. You can also use Brock. Um, Piper, I wouldn't recommend going with just because, you know, <laughs> Piper literally has no damage at close range. As I said, there's going to be a lot of Edgar. Um, so yeah, you're going to get jumped on. It's not really going to go very well. Also, a Darrow could work very really well here as well. There's a lot of water, which means you can roll across it. Um, and also, Darrow does counter Edgar. So if you're running like a Darrow Byron, I feel like that could be a really good counter comp that a lot of people don't see coming. Um, and also, Darrow does kind of counter B just because of the way you can tank um, like 3k shots and essentially have them do literally no damage to you while you use the roll. So I feel like Daryl and Byron could actually counter a lot of the comps that people are using on this map um, and that a lot of comps, like people, including myself, tell you to go. Like Daryl could counter those comps. If you are facing a lot of B, a lot of Edgar, then yeah, Daryl Byron could work amazingly well. Um, or, you know, like Daryl Cole, if you don't have Byron, could still work pretty well. So yeah, make sure you're using definitely one of those long range brawlers. As I said, Edgar or Daryl can also work here as well. But yeah, this is going to be a really very really fun map for sure so that's gonna wrap it up for the video okay guys that's gonna wrap it up for the video make sure to subscribe if you're not already also make sure to check out all my other videos i've done a, a couple of videos on this and um, with loads of tips and stuff to help you so if you really want to win make sure to check out all those videos i will leave um them all in a playlist on my channel so make sure to check them out if you want to win thanks for watching guys make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys next time peace